Hi, I'm Scott Foster with Foster Flight. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about aviation spark plug maintenance. If you work on airplanes, you know that these shielded plugs generally have a resistor in them, about a thousand ohms or two, that works in conjunction with the harness and the magnetos to deliver an appropriate spark while minimizing RFI. This resistor really ought to be checked at annual. Now the way you can, way you can do that is find a multimeter, find a probe that can fit down where the cigarette spring goes, as not all of them will. Find another probe that can get a good connection on the center electrode, get a stable reading, and then see if it's within the generally accepted guidelines. Generally a plug that's got less than 500 ohms is worrisome for RFI and certain engine problems. A plug with more than about 5,000 ohms is suspect for hard starting and operations at or near the engine limits. The problem is you've got to find the multimeter, the right probes, remember the spec and all of that. So my family developed this product. This will check your plugs. It's a self-contained small footprint in your toolbox device. No, no batteries to replace, no plug-in. Simply put your plug in here and it will test it. The heart of this device is this little module. This is a high capacity battery. We expect it to last at least 10 years and tens of thousands of checks. There's a switch a red light that indicates the plug is out of spec. If we connected this to a plug that was within spec, 500 to 5,000 ohms, the red light goes out, the green light goes on, and the buzzer goes on. Let me demonstrate that. Here's a serviceable plug out of a Bonanza. Placed in the unit, it's red until you put the plug in and then it turns green and buzzes. In practice, the way you want to do this is put it upside down on the table, take a plug out of the tray, drop it in, hopefully you will get a beat. Take the next plug out of the tray, drop it in, hopefully you'll get another beat. But once in a while you won't get a beat. For instance, this plug is out of spec. It's nearly 10,000 ohms. I wouldn't put it back in the airplane, yet it's a brand new, out of the box, unused, unabused plug. So this, this can happen, it's not terribly unusual. This is a solution to, to the check, it makes it simple. Plugs that don't pass this test should be looked at further, considered for reconditioning or replacement. Thanks for watching, bye.